My name is Joseph and Kasha, and I have been breeding Moscow Guard dogs since the 1990s. The first litter was born in our kennel in 1999, since then we completely fell in love with this breed. The Moscow Guard dog, which is in Russian Moskovskaya Storozivia, was formed and bred in the state-owned Red Star Kennel in the Soviet Union. The director of this program was General Medvedev, and they tried to form a large-bodied, intelligent breed that can be trained easily and with whom work is easy. The goals of the program were met and the breeding has finished by the late 1940s and early 1950s. Until the 1980s they were handled as war secret and private persons could not own this breed. The Moscow Guard Dog is a first-class guard dog, they are completely perfect for personal and territorial guard and protection work, the majority of our buyers want to get them for house protection and as a family dog. I can say that if they bark, it always have a serious reason, and they stick very much to their territory, escaping is a very rare phenomenon amongst them. They usually tolerate kids and elderly people very well, and we have not heard about any cases when there would have been any problem with them in this respect. What I feel and experience is that they have very good instincts, and they basically feel that they should take care of the very young and old generations as they are somewhat different. During the past decades we have had some fantastic experiences with them. In 2006 for example, when we visited Moscow and went for the Eurasia Dog Show, we traveled by train through Russia. It was a fantastic experience for me to see how the average Russian people approach and see these dogs, with a very high level of respect even at that time. When, for example, a very rude and polite customs officer came into our railway carriage, his behavior changed completely when he noticed our dog, Misha. In the hotel where we stayed in Moscow, the security guard always opened the door for my dog in all cases, I must add never for me, and smiled ate the dog all time. The Moscow Guard Dog was bred from three different dog breeds. They inherited their intelligence and their outlook from the Saint Bernard, their toughness from the Caucasian Shepherd, and their very good nose from the Russian Spotted Hound. Of course, up until today we find in shows that they are still a rare breed and few people know what they are, they are mistakenly called Saint Bernards and usually Beethoven by kids, because of the movie. Of course, although they have similarities with the Saint Bernard, there are differences as well. If you look to the head of a Saint Bernard, the length of the nose and the forehead are the same, and they have a kind of bulky heads, and their lips are loose, which is a defective thing at the Moscow Guard dogs. Another thing that is a serious difference is that the Moscow Guard dogs do not slobber all time as it is not acceptable with this breed. Their sizes, for quality and body shapes are quite similar. Who are the ideal owners of the Moscow Guard dogs? I usually say as they are a big and very strong breed that I offer them for more experienced owners, and not primarily for first-time dog owners. For them to live in a flat is not ideal, they need enough space to move around and what they can guard. They can live together with families very well and tolerate children, but of course every owner should teach not only the dog, but the kid as well, how to behave and live together with such a huge animal. In a family, where a Moscow Guard dog is present, there should be at least one person, who is decisive and definite, and who can handle them properly. For unstable and indecisive personalities I usually do not recommend this breed. With this breed early socialization is a must. When you take home the 8 or 9 week old puppy, you have to use and formulate the rules they have to follow and stick to these. You should never forget that the cute puppy will grow to a giant-sized strong-willed breed, who will follow the same rules in adulthood. The future owners usually ask me whether the Moscow Guard dog can be and worth taken to dog school, whether it has any reason. In my opinion to take them to dog school from a young age can be very useful, but you have to look for a school, where they know the specialties and character of this breed. Obedience training can also be very useful for them, where both the dog, and the owner are taught how to cooperate and work together. 
If you keep a Moscow guard dog in a family surrounding, I usually recommend not to take them to guard dog training, as they instinctively know how to defend the house and the family. Of course, if you use them for work and you are a security guard for example, it is a different situation. Thanks God they are a very healthy breed, I do not know about any Moscow guard dog special illnesses, even dysplasia is very rare among them. In average they live for 10 to 12 years, although my oldest dog was 15 years old when she left us.